Hello, hello, hello everybody. Tanisha here coming to you guys with four ways to be friendly and approachable. So I know we've been talking about friendship for a while now, but I thought this would be a good way to wrap things up because I want you guys to understand that part of making new friends is going out there and actually making new friends. So today we're gonna let Bears Beats play and then we're gonna talk about it. You go to www.tishakip.com, see what I'm talking about, see what I'm blogging about. And then from there, go to the support group, see what we're chatting about. Again, this friendship course was in there. The whole month of February, we talked about this, went live, enjoyed chatting with each other and the lives and the replays and the conversations that blossom from there. Got a lot of good feedback in real time. I appreciate that as well. So if you want information or access to that, go down to the description area or go to the pinned comment. You will see a link. All the links are in the description area, but if you go to the pinned comment, you will see a blog post link that will have everything you need so that you can get on the friendship train all right so let's jump right into this four ways to be more friendly and approachable so the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to smile <laughs> all right you're going to smile i know that sounds crazy but you guys y'all don't be smiling like I, I think i feel like you think you do but i, I watch people i am very observant <laughs> And y'all don't be smiling. Y'all be mugging, mean mugging. I don't know what it is. Like, I am smiling. I'm like, hey, girl, how you doing? Oh, hey. Come on now. You want a friend? And you, come on, real, this? This is what, this what you're doing? Come on now. You got you to gotta smile, okay? So, number one, you need to smile. Oh, number two, open up your body language, okay? So, you're not, you're closed off. A lot of you like this. You're doing this. You're doing this you're staying down or if somebody's talking to you you're not giving them any eye contact you're doing this you're looking away you're turning your head or yeah oh okay and then you do this okay so when i say open up your body language if somebody is talking to you turn your body to them give them eye contact approach them step a little closer lean into the conversation okay that's what i'm talking about when you're doing your body language, okay? Number three, rid yourselves of distractions, okay? Here you are. This is all you're doing. This is it. That's it. That's what you're doing. If you want to talk to somebody, you got to put your distraction down. If That includes everybody, children, family, friends. Um, if you want to meet people, you have got to look up at them. Eye contact. You have got to make sure that you are saying words to them. How are you going to talk to people if you talking to this? You know, give your Hey Google or your Hey Siri on, okay? Or Alexa, whoever you're talking to that's helping you out, okay? And then the last one is strike up a conversation. Talk to people. Guys, I know it is so weird sometimes to walk up to somebody and just start talking to them. Hey, how are you doing? But instead of thinking of it like this, how about this? Hey, how are you doing? I'm Tanisha. And you are? Or hey, how are you doing? I think I've met you before. What's your name? Hey, how are you doing? I'm Tanisha. I believe I saw you with such and such. I didn't get your name. Can you give me your name? Do you mind telling me? Just anything, any sort of way to spark. Oh, girl, I love your shoes. Where did you get them from? You got them from Ross? I shop there all the time. Hi, my name's Tanisha. That's it. It's not hard, guys. Well, it used to be hard for me, but it's it really shouldn't be, guys. You're going to have to step outside your comfort zone. And pretty much, it's like, I guess, the art of sales. You're kind of selling yourself, your personality. But you're going to have to open yourself up. You're going to have to talk to people. So um, a way that you can do that could be at church. Um, for those of you who go to, to go to church in person and your service starts at 10 or 1030 or whatever, get the 30 minutes before, okay? X all that. It doesn't matter. Okay. All right. So let's say your service starts at whatever time, 10 30, 12 30, 5 o'clock. I don't know. People go to church on Saturdays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, now. Whatever time it starts, get the 30 minutes before. Not just because you want a good seat. I mean, I, I promise you it's probably going to be a seat because a lot of people aren't really going to church like they used to pre Panasonic. So I'm sure you're going to have a seat somewhere. So, but just get there 30 minutes ahead of time just to make conversation. Put your little purse down and your children's bags down or whatever you got to put down your towel or your sheet, your prayer cloth to let everybody know that row C, four, five, and six belong to you and your family. But then go away from that space and go talk to people. 
how you doing? I like your shirt. How was your week? I love asking people that. How was your week? And then when they say good, I'll say, okay, tell me three good things about your week. Tell me two good things about your week. If I meet somebody with a unique name, wow, that name is unique. I've never heard that before. Can you tell me where that name came from? How did your parents think of that name, naming you that? Um, for my friends who are teachers, I'll ask them stuff like, you know, okay, you're a teacher. What is your favorite school supply? Does that make sense? So you want to take the conversation. If you want to get to know people and take them, you know, to the different levels of friendship, we've talked about that. You're going to have to open up a little bit. You're going to have to make conversation. You're going to have to engage people. Okay. And it's not as hard as you think. You can literally Google conversation starters, save them in your phone and be like, okay, I'm going to talk to her today. That's it. I'm going to go up to sister Blueberry and I'm going to ask her, Hey, where did you buy that lace front wig? It is so cute. Whatever, like whatever you need to do, but make the conversation. Do not be afraid, okay? Do not be afraid. And then you want to make sure that you're not running to your car, to your office after a meeting. So like I so said, you're at work and you want to get to know your coworkers more. Stop running to your office after the meeting. Everybody messy. No, they're not. You're just scary, okay? Same thing with church. Stop going to church. And then after church, you're running straight to the car. That don't make no sense. Why are you running straight to the car after church and then you're saying you want friends? Again, do you want us to come knock on your window? That's so weird. We're not going to do that. And you don't want us to do that. So stay outside your car and give yourself maybe 10 minutes. How about that? After church, give yourself 10 minutes to take your time and walk to your vehicle and speak to people along the way and see what happens. You never know what friendships could blossom from that, okay? And then the last thing I want to share with you guys is um maintaining good friendships and i found a passage of scripture that i think really does a good job of just kind of explaining how we should be amongst as believers amongst each other um so these words are in your bible if you have a red letter bible they should be in red because these were spoken by christ and it's going to be luke 30 through 38 okay it's a lot but i think it's very helpful so king james is on the screen i'm going to read the amplified version give to everyone who asks of you Whoever takes away what is yours, do not demand it back. Treat others the same way you want them to treat you. If you only love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. If you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. If you lend money to those from whom you expect to receive it back, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to sinners, expecting to receive back the same amount. But love, that is unselfishly seek the best or higher good for your enemies. And do good and lend, expecting nothing in return. For your reward will be great, rich, abundant, and you will be sons of the Most High. Because he himself is kind and gracious and good to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be merciful responsive, compassionate, tender, just as your heavenly father is merciful. Do not judge others self-righteously and you will not be judged. Do not condemn others when you are guilty and unrepentant and you will not be condemned for your hypocrisy. Pardon others when they truly repent and change and you will be pardoned when you truly re repent and change. Give and it will be given to you. They will pour into your lap a good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over with no space left for more. For the standard of measurement you use when you do good to others, it will be measured to you in return. I know that a lot of times we don't use that scripture for friendship. Um, but I think that that actually does a good job of summarizing what we need to be doing as believers when we're connecting to others. That's it. You give the best that you have and let God do the rest. What do I tell you guys at the end of every video? Leave the rest to who? Leave the rest to God. You can only do so much. So give your, give of yourself and let that be it. There is times that I've been hurt by very close friends. It happens. There is times when I've been 
um, you know, lied on and all the stuff, lied on, cheated, talked about, mistreated, well, everything in the song, as long as I got King Jesus, I, that's happened to me. It happens to all of us. But there's also been times when I have been, had my head lifted up when I didn't feel like I had the strength to lift it myself. My friends, there has been times when people have died and I didn't know how I was going to make it or not even the death that is what hurts. It's really the dealing with the aftermath of the humans left behind the person that had passed. And people have had to walk me and sometimes carry me through that. Friends, life happens to us all. It's hard and I know some of you have been hurt before in relationships and friendships. Some of you have not forgiven those people. That's really what it is. When you do what this past description said, you pardon them. Pardon them. Forgive them. Whether they repent or change or not, forgive them. Forgiveness is for you. We've talked about that. But I hope that all of these lessons have helped you. I hope they've helped you build your confidence. I say this in every video, but I mean that. Are you better? Are you better because of this study that we've done on friendship? Have you grown as a friend? Um, have your relationships changed? And so I want you guys to really think about that as you go forward. We're going to just pray and we're going to thank God for what this last part of the scripture says. I'm praying for that for every single one of you who have messaged me and who have commented about your loneliness and how you feel. Um, I don't take it lightly that you choose to share that with me. I'm appreciative. Um, but I do, I pray that for you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. And not just in, you know, people love to pray that in finances. No, in friendship, whatever you're seeking God for, you reap what you sow and the harvest is always going to be bountiful. So I'm just, I hope that you take these lessons and you apply them to your life and that you grow. So let us pray. Father God, you are holy and you are powerful, all knowing, all seeing, almighty. And for that, we say thank you, Lord. And there are people who may say this is something that is so small to pray for, but it is big to the women watching this video, God. Some of these women are scared. They've been hurt. And they don't know how to step outside of that to make new friends. But God, we thank you for courage in the name of Jesus. And I pray that every woman watching this video grows and her heart is filled as she goes forth to make new friends, Lord God. To step past the hurt and the pain. To forgive those that she has not forgiven. To forgive herself for holding that unforgiveness. To let go, to move forward, to grow. And we thank you, Lord God, for the flourish of friendships and for the bountiful harvest of connection in virtual relationships with awesome people and in real time, Lord God. Let us never forget to connect in real time, in person, Lord God. Give these women the friendships that they pray for, Lord God. Let them know that it matters and that it is important, Lord God, so that we can be uplifted by believers and encouraged along the way, Lord God. And we thank you for the harvest that is going to be plentiful, given to us in good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over in the name of Jesus. They will reap what they sow in friendship, Lord God. And the harvest will be great. Amen. So that ends it. Are y'all tired of talking about friendship? I hope so, because we done. So <laughs> I hope that... I hope that you feel closer to me. I hope you feel closer to me. I hope that you feel closer to those who are around you and that you have just made those adjustments accordingly. And if you need to go back and make some apologies and make some things right for putting people in the wrong place, that they should be a little higher and you had them a little lower, whatever you need to do. If you need to go through and release, do it. But grow, sis. All right, I love you. I want you to be encouraged and um, thank you for walking along this journey for me. You know, we had a good time when we did our last Bible study. Um, but I really hope that this friendship study gives you just as much um, growth and love and just encouragement. All right. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next video. And don't forget in everything that you do to live holy, to love graciously, to laugh often and leave the rest to God.